What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Torchlight 2. Uh, in the last episode, I think we did more dying than we made progress. So, what are we going to do? Uh, we're not going to learn from our past mistakes, that's for sure. We're going to try and we're going to go through and try and beat this level again. Because, you know what? We're determined. But, yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't expecting the, pretty much the first big mission to be that difficult, unless I'm just stupid. <laughs> and if there's some other way, uh, <laughs> some other way to do it, what's over here? Well, I mean, obviously... Yeah, obviously this is the direction we need to go. So, pretty much, uh, maybe I'll just kill more enemies in the uh, overworld here. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it, the overworld. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, move along and hopefully get the required level that we need and get the strength desired to uh, continue on. And, you know, go from there find a couple of missions to uh, do out here. Look, these guys seem like they want to fly. These guys are more my level. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got them. And then this will also open up more of the map for us. my little ferret buddy's doing over there? I should... There. There we go. He's aggressive now. Cool statue, bruh. Alright. Where did we leave off? Where? What are you doing over here? See, it's just a matter of finding the right amount of enemies to defeat, and then gaining gaining enough levels. Requires a bit more thinking. Well, I mean, not a bit more thinking. Uh, maybe a bit more grinding, I should say. Skeletons. Skull Hollow. Well, no wonder it's called Skull Hollow. They got they got hollow skulls. Am I able to get in there? No, I'm not able to get in there. What's over here? You? Leaving Skull Hollow. And now I'm entering Skull Hollow again. I could probably get in from... Yeah, I can get in from over here. So... Whoa! What are you? I mean you no harm. I am but a lonely soul trapped in the afterlife. Betrayed and drowned by villainous companions, I dwell here, reliving my end, waiting in vain for my death to be avenged. But it has been over a hundred years since I took my last breath, and nearly that many since... My murderers themselves perished in their hidden retreat in Plunder Cove. Seek their leader, Captain Willie, through this portal. Show him the justice has neither forgotten him nor forgiven him. Yeah, sure, and it looks like I can get a pet tag for my, uh, for my ferret. If I complete this, hopefully... Yeah, that's still gonna be a, uh, too high of a level, I, I feel like. 8 to 11, that's much more, uh, 
I mean, it's it's a it's lower than uh, ten to twelve, but I don't think I'm quite level eight yet. So I can definitely come back to that after I whoop some of these guys' asses, of course. And apparently, I can punch enemies through the wall. That's amazing. Come here. Come here. You think you can take me? I'm going to punch you through this brick wall. <laughs> yeah? That wall just kicked your ass, didn't it? Did I, did I glitch this game? Like, they can't reach me, but I can reach them. This is great. I think I'm doing a mission without even realizing it, too. Am I getting... Am I getting points for this? Like, I... <laughs> oh, yeah. This is exciting. This is... This is hilarious. Can I... I can hit them with my... Oh, I think the game caught on to me. I can't... I can't punch them anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I can still reach him. Come on. Y you know you want to come over to this rock. This rock is hard-coded to let me punch you through this wall. Oh, here he comes. Uh, what's going on with this wall over here? Come on. I know. Just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is too funny. You know, just don't mind me. I'm just punching a wall, but at the same time, beating enemies. They can't get me, but I can get them. I believe I have found a glitch in the system. <laughs> Come on, get over here. They're trying to get me. Oh, they won't. Yeah, they can get me now, but they won't come over. Apparently they just ended themselves? Okay. You know what? We can we can live with that. Uh, maybe I can wander over yonder and see what's going on. Oh yeah, that's right. I also got myself a level up. Uh, I guess I could use more focus. I don't even know what I'm doing as far as this build goes. Uh, cold steel. Uh, I do like I do like being able to do more uh, damage, so we'll just keep doing that. So what do we have here? Yeah, see, like, I just beat everything over here, and I didn't even do anything. I just fought enemies through a wall. What have we here? Bring out your dead! <laughs> Alright. See this kind of thing. See this crypt over here? It's called the Bone Gallery. Oh, boy. Rosa Mortis, which will be pretty valuable, which, while pretty valuable, is also guarded by the biggest undead monstrosity I've ever seen. Yet, you know what? We'll take this mission. Bring out your dead! Ah, yes, I need to go and kill something. A lot of somethings. I think it's these somethings I need to kill. What have we here? Hmm. 
No, there's there's something that walks. I think there's something that walks over and unlocks that, like a key. Is it this? No, not that. There's got to be something. Yeah, I think that's it. That guy's walking off somewhere. Where'd you go? There you are. Alright, so we'll try this quest. You know, to move along slightly in the story. Even though I don't think this is part of the main story. But if anything, it will get us to a higher level. So that way we can compete with the main story. Or we can continue with the main story. Yeah, see, these guys are more my level. Look at you guys. So I hope everybody's been having a pretty good day, a uh, pretty good week. Uh, I've been having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Woke up this morning, you know what I did? Watched Northern Lion. He's been playing a lot of Spelunky too. Big fan of a uh, big fan of his series. Just great, really, just like great commentary, great, great commentary, great voice, quick wit. And, mo and most importantly, it's fun to watch him lose at Spelunky. Like, the game is out to get him. Uh, Spelunky 2, I should say. But. And I mean. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, I, I doubt he'll even come across this video. But if he does, go to Volcana. Like, I understand the importance of the black market. But I'd love to see more Volcana. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm joking by the way. I mean <laughs> You know, I'm just I'm just saying it's not, you know, like you have to take my advice or anything. Cuz he seems to be doing a he seems to be pretty successful without my uh without my input. See, I just, I don't know where all these enemies are coming from, but uh, I, if I can keep beating them, keep throwing them at me. Just punch that guy and knock him the frick out. Ooh, you're a boss. Well, you're a special enemy. Well, I mean, not special like that, but, you know, you're, you're purpley. And you teleport. Oh, you teleported right out of the way of my ice breath. 225 in chaos embers back. Health potion. I'll knock you out. Can you knock a skeleton out? No, you shatter a skeleton. You knock out enemies. More draw, more drax. Am I even going in the right direction anymore? I don't know. 
Is my life even going in the right direction? See, we have to. We're we're hitting the hard, the hard hitting questions we're asking ourselves here today. But to answer that question, yes, I think we are going in the right direction. And, uh, you know, to answer the other question, yes, I think my life is going in the right direction. As I sit here, looking at the clock at 11 o'clock at night, pondering if I should go eat that leftover meatloaf. I mean, it's acceptable to eat leftover meatloaf. But I don't necessarily think it's the health healthiest thing to do at, you know, 11 o'clock at night. Whoa! Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll do that. I, I was still beating those guys, but I can, I can come in and fight these guys. So I guess when I leave, I can go and fight those guys, too. Hey, stop swinging on my ferret. This ferret has been through a lot. Uh, he is my friend. And my my companion. Uh, uh, I still have a cooldown on my potion. Yeah, those skeletons... Whoa, oh, oh no, they're fighting my... Ferret. I thought they were fighting each other. Come on, stop that. Man, this guy takes hits like a truck. Or a steel wall, I should say. He's not impossible like the uh, other mission I was trying to do. But he is a little bit more... He is a bit more beefy. I'm just gonna... Oh, man. He kicked the shit out of me. Come on. Just a few more wax. Not like wax, like, you know, waxing a car, but hits. Like, like whack. Like, that shit is whack, yo. And I went through so many health potions. Um, we got the Rose Mortis. Do I have anything worthwhile to uh, increase the amount of gold found, 2% poison damage. Requires level 6 or vitality 21, plus 3 vitality attribute bonus, plus this is better than what I have. So, I mean, that'll work. Uh, 11 fire armor. this? Is this better than what I have? It definitely seems that way. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. So, we'll... Man, look at that guy's face. That's... <laughs> just a little look on his face. Man. Sorry, bruh. But it had to be done. So, I guess I can come over this way. Oh, everything over here died, and I don't even remember coming through that portal. I guess that's the, uh... I guess that's, like, the, uh, exit, the exit portal just to bring you back to the main, the main world. And then I can talk to the guy, and I can get a new tag for my ferret. Because, you know, you always gotta, you gotta think of the pets first. Pets do a lot for you. My pets, I mean, my pets come first to me. They get, you know, they get their food. I make special, uh, 
I mix uh, something special in their food for them. I give them, I give them ground up carrots. I mix in their food, and they love it. What have we here? All right. What is this? Sap blade of silence. Uh, I can't use that yet. But I feel like this is a good weapon to have. But my pet... My pet could use a new tag. Because he's got one of three slots filled. Yeah, I won't. By the time by the time I get that much dexterity or reach that level, I'll probably have something comparable to that. So we'll go with the item for the pet. He deserves it. So he's gonna get ninety-seven health and twenty-two per, twenty-two poison armor on top of his four physical damage. Yeah, he, he got more HP than I do. So, what were we going to do? We were going to do... Dex. And then... You know, I always like being a fan of the passive abilities. What's this one do? 100% chance to mobilize target for, mobilize target for 3 seconds. 5% chance to freeze. And minus 5 to ice armor for 3 seconds. Yeah, I like that. Can I buy stuff from you now? You seem to be a vendor. Oh, no. He's not a vendor. So... I feel like this is a good uh, place to uh, leave off. Uh, we finished the... The the bone the boneyard, is that what it was called? Uh, we finished that mission, and... Uh, I feel a bit more confident because I didn't die uh, this time. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Till then, take it easy.